Okay, hi there. Uh, we carry on from where we left off just now. Uh, we had to have a little break. But what we're busy with right now is the tutorial for coloring the hair. The first step was coloring, um, was laying down a, quite a light layer of yellow. And we're now starting to build this up, the two outside ringlets, with this color first, which is kind of like a cerise red. Right now, I'm just focused on doing all the kind of shadow areas with this color. So there we go. As you're going along, kind of going over where the outline marks, you know, the outline kind of has been done. And this is a chance to absorb all of those lines. You can see now, as you go, you can like barely see the lines anymore. You absorb the lines into the coloring. Um, So it's also something you can come back to a little bit, you know, you don't have to get it all perfectly right. Okay, so that's those two pieces. Um, ooh. I made a mistake actually. <laughs> okay, it's in the middle of my but no problem. Okay, so we're busy with this one at the moment as well here. So darker on the edges and then lighter lifting your pencil as you go towards or darker towards the edges of where you're colouring. And um, these bits over here as well. Colouring so that you can see what I'm doing. Have a look and see what else we need to do. Okay, these pieces down here, but okay. Okay, so I think that we are done with that. The next kind is the turquoise. I'm sure this is the part of what we're waiting for. Okay, so I'm just going to start putting it in. If we have a look both sides. It's kind of like here and over there. I'm trying to leave these lines the same. I'm just going to fill it in. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be similar. So here we go. I like to also start in the middle where you can go nice and dark and then lighter as I'm moving out into the areas where kind of blending colours together. So you can see there I'm going a bit lighter as we go down. Nice and strong and then kind of blending in as we go along. I'm just finding all the obvious ones right now. The wisps or the swirls that have got to be, you know, kind of in this aqua colour. Blending there. Can I just lift the pencil up? Sorry about the clanking of my bangles.
just as we go along, it just kind of starts to come alive, really, you know. Um, blending and shading but just putting that all in like that. Now we're going to do this one at the bottom. I'm going to start on the side. Nice and strong here in between all these pieces. pencils in the hand at the same time. Um, I'm to put this top here. It's so can kind of blend down into the bottom. Remember, we're going to put yellow on top of all of this as well here. So let's do it. Oh, I love this one. Okay, <laughs> my very, very fast diminishing yellow pencil. I'm going to go and do all of this, all the zinging of doing this. So there we go, nice and firm. Blending the two colors together. Fill in the spaces. This is also why when you're coloring, you don't want to be too too dark or too heavy so that you can the space left on the page so that you can add some of this in and I just go over everywhere you know you can see I'm not I'm just you know putting some yellow in there wherever there's colors just blend them together when you go over the aqua it makes a lovely kind of like bright color over the red it gives a bit of kind of orange effect so the whole thing really just starts to kind of come alive in a really lovely way I love this yellow, it's like a magic wand for me. And then even once this has been done, you can always go back and uh, add a bit more. I try to hurry things up a little bit. I want to make this very, very, very long. to sharpen this pencil quickly now, it's a little bit too blunt. But it is starting to take shape quite nicely, I think. There we go, over all the highlights areas. First put your yellow. Fagging and blending. I think this is one of the fun things really about um, kind of if you're going to do layering of colours that you can create things quite magical sometimes by just putting colours on top of each other. to focus on finishing this little piece over here so if we look over here we can see the colors are more fiery orange yellow red basically it's exactly the same colors um, we're just going to swap the aquatone for the orange so first things first 
Okay, I'm putting, we're do, I've already started with um, the red, so let's finish with that. Oh, very blunt pencil. If you're not sure how far to go, seriously, the lines help you to work that out, you know. Um, Bennett's drawings are great. He really puts in all the shadow bits for us and the little lines that indicate that you know, something's happening, so use that as your guide. There we go. A bit more here. So then orange is kind of like really the blender colour here. So wherever there's been red, we're just gonna add into it. But nice and fiery. There you go. Adding all the in-between bits. Some nice contrast there. And then basically once we've done the orange, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to add in the yellow. So we're going to have this like crazy zing that will come from the yellow. Almost there. Blend everything together really nicely. Taking our stain yellow and just blending in, putting in wherever there's light yellow patch left, just going and blending the two colours together, every part of Oh, pencil shrinking in my hand. Because this is quite an organic little process, you can get some light and some dark and it's not exactly going to be perfect and that very thing is going to make it look really fantastic. So to a great or lesser extent, there we go, the hair is done. Um, you can sit and fiddle and faff quite endlessly adding in bits of dark hair and, and bits of light there. But I think that that's also kind of part of part of what makes it fantastic. So there we go. Hair is done. Both sides. Top and bottom. Ring that's all complete. And um hope this has been helpful and look forward to seeing your works in progress. <laughs>